As you can tell by the title and where I'm standing, it's two different places. I want to apologize for that. So this is the intro to the second part of the Nissan Heritage Collection tour. Unfortunately, my camera had a lot of issues while, I, while filming a lot of stuff in Asia. Uh, I've had this GoPro for since 2020. So it's four years old, been through a lot of abuse, and for whatever reason, it's glitching out a lot. So moving forward, a lot of this Asia content, uh, you'll see a lot of cut and pasting and a lot of probably me here in the garage doing the intro or talking about what's going on in the video. I want to apologize for that up, for, up front. Um, but yeah, enjoy the tour. This uh, the, the Nissan Heritage Collection is going to be three or four parts, depending how the cut and edits work out. But yeah, uh, if you could do me a huge favor, go hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, definitely would appreciate it. Also follow our socials, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, links in the description below. Go ahead and enjoy the video. Super cool to see these cars. Nissan Violet. I wonder how many of these, some of these uh, still exist. Trying to outrun the tour guide. So welcome to part two of the video coverage of the Nissan Heritage Collection. I've decided to break this down in a few parts just so the video is not overly long. 2000 Skyline 2000 GTR. Nissan Safari. This is cool. That bumper. <laughs> Alright, that's chassis found, boys. We're almost there. Here we go. So, Soviet Coupe. So the hatchback in here is the S13 Coupe. 180 SX and S14. It's rare to even see them in this shape. Uh, they're not that old. Because kids keep breaking them all. Bluebird. AKA the Pathfinder. But it's a two door. you probably recognize if you're my age. GTSR. Right before they started kind of developing its own DNA kind of see the differences from before so now you can start see the evolution you can kind of see where the r32 look kind of comes into play so i might have four so our right, nissan mid uh, mid four two here we go and here is the gtst r32 
Nismo GTR 32. So pristine. section. There's some 2000 stuff to my right which will show in a bit. Pulsar GTIR. <laughs> hey. I wish the US got stuff like this back then. These are cool. But it, we didn't. Unfortunately Nissan went the way it did in the 90s and early 2000s because for whatever reason, reason, Nissan USA did not want to send the cool stuff. It sent all the bland and boring stuff, unfortunately. Now, I don't have any uh, professional connection to Nissan anymore, so I can put an honest, uh, I, get, I mean, whether I work with a corporate company or not, I still put my honest opinion on it. Nissan was a great company. I still think they're doing things to try to get back up to speed. But a lot of their, long story short, uh, corporate political issues that they've had within management or executive level management has hurt the company quite a bit so they're forced to do things and not do things it's not fun so right here is a nissan tita otherwise known as a nissan versa if you know me long enough my very first oe project car from nissan usa was a nissan versa that was my very first oe collaboration deal that i did very fun project. Yeah, I take that back. Very stressful project. But it got done. They had a whole full SEMA build in, what was it? Seven or eight days? Yeah. That, that was back in 2006. First year they debuted the Versa, so. Don't worry, you're gonna start seeing some cool cars in a second. I know this is kind of boring. And my buddy Big Chris had one of these, gift by his dad. Sold it, no, no longer has it. That car was fun. He had a manual V6 Maxima. Saw so Tiana. Here is a GTR Autec. Ooh. Four door. Back. R3425 GT Turbo would not be a bad daily driver. Here, GTR V Spec 2. So many. Oh. Car can use a good paint correction though. I don't think the camera can pick it up, but there's swirl marks from dry dry wiping it while it's in a museum. That does happen. This is the GTR M Spec Nur. These are worth a ton of money. So yeah. Stagia Autec. There's the Stagia 300 RX. 